Be honest. When was the last time you really pinned the throttle all the way down? Not a brave little push. I'm talking full send, no regrets. Wife grabs the rail full throttle. Most boaters avoid it, and I get it. Someone at your marina probably told you, running WOT will blow your engine up. But here's the secret. Engines are designed to run full throttle, as long as physics are on your side. By the end of this video, you'll know whether your boat loves full throttle or whether it's quietly screaming, please stop, I'm dying. This is where most boat owners get it wrong. We've all been trained to flinch at high RPM, like the engine is about to launch parts into the water. But your engine doesn't panic at RPM, it panics at load. Load is what happens when the motor is asked to do too much work with not enough speed to relieve the pressure. Think about riding a bicycle. Spinning fast in a low gear on flat ground. Easy. Trying to pedal slowly up a steep hill in a high gear. Brutal. That strain you feel in your legs is exactly what your engine feels when it's lugging. Low RPM, high throttle, heavy boat, that's the danger zone. At wide open throttle, a healthy setup lets the engine reach its manufacturer rated RPM range. When that happens, combustion is clean, internal pressures are balanced, and cooling and lubrication systems are flowing at maximum efficiency. The engine is actually happier than it is at mid-throttle lugging. So here's the question you need to ask yourself. When you go full throttle, does your engine spin freely into its RPM band? Or does it feel like it's pushing a brick wall? Because one is healthy physics, and the other is slow, expensive damage happening quietly. Almost every boater has felt this. Around 70 to 80% throttle, the boat feels calm. The noise drops, the vibration softens, and everything just feels right. Your brain relaxes and goes, yep, this is the sweet spot. But here's the uncomfortable truth. That feeling is mostly psychological. At three quarters throttle, you're often running below peak RPM while still asking the engine to push a heavy hull through the water. That creates high load with reduced airflow and cooling, especially if your prop is too tall or the engine is mounted low. In other words, the boat feels comfortable, but the engine might be working harder than it does at full throttle. Full throttle, when properly set up, lets the engine spin freely. RPM rises, internal pressures stabilize, Exhaust scavenging improves, and cooling water flow is at its strongest. The noise goes up, sure, but stress often goes down. So ask yourself this. Do you cruise at three-quarters throttle because it's genuinely better for the engine, or because it's quieter, smoother, and feels less aggressive to you? Comfort doesn't always equal kindness. Sometimes the engine would actually prefer you to push a little harder, and let the physics do their job. Your propeller is the gatekeeper of full throttle. It decides whether wide open throttle feels smooth and powerful or tight and punishing. And this is where a lot of engines quietly die without anyone realizing why. If your prop has too much pitch, the engine can't reach its rated RPM at full throttle. It feels strong but it's actually lugging, building heat, increasing cylinder pressure, and flirting with detonation. If the pitch is too low, the engine revs easily, screams near the limiter, and wastes power without pushing the boat efficiently. A properly matched prop does something magical. At WOT, the engine climbs cleanly into its designed RPM range, coolant flow peaks, internal friction drops, and the motor settles into a rhythm where it can safely make maximum power. That's not luck, that's physics aligning. Here's the uncomfortable question. When was the last time your prop choice was based on real WOT RPM numbers instead of this is what came with the boat or 
A buddy said it worked great on his. Most full throttle horror stories aren't caused by throttle abuse. They're caused by the wrong prop holding the engine hostage. Trim is where confidence separates fast boats from frustrated ones. At full throttle, a lot of owners touch the trim button once, hear a change in sound, and immediately back off like they just broke something. In reality, that sound is often the boat finally freeing itself from drag. As you trim out at speed, you're changing the thrust angle of the prop. The bow lifts, the wetted surface shrinks, and the hull stops plowing. When you hit the sweet spot, the boat feels lighter, RPM rises slightly, steering sharpens, and speed jumps. That release sensation isn't danger, it's efficiency. But go a little too far and you'll feel it immediately. The prop loses bite, RPM flares, and the boat starts to feel nervous. That's ventilation, not engine damage. The mistake most people make is assuming the first sign of change means they've gone too far, when in reality, they stop trimming right before peak performance. Ask yourself this next time you're wide open. Are you trimming slowly, one tap at a time, feeling what the boat is telling you? Or are you trimming by fear, backing off before physics even gets a chance to help you? Engine height quietly determines whether full throttle feels effortless or abusive. Mount the engine too low, and you're dragging the lower unit through dense water like an underwater parachute. The boat works harder, RPM stays low, and heat builds fast. Too high and the prop starts breathing air, especially in turns, making the whole setup feel unstable. When height is right, everything clicks. At full throttle, RPM rises freely, trim becomes predictable, fuel burn drops, and the boat feels lighter almost eager. You're not adding horsepower, you're removing resistance. That's why some boats gain several miles per hour just by moving the engine up a bolt hole. Here's the part most owners never think about. Factories and dealers almost always mount engines conservatively low. Not because it's optimal, but because it prevents customer complaints. Performance takes a back seat to peace and quiet. So ask yourself, is your engine mounted where physics want it or where the dealer felt safest? Because at full throttle, height isn't a detail, it's a multiplier. If full throttle ever destroys an engine, it almost always does it quietly, through heat. Not with a bang, but with rising temperatures you didn't notice soon enough. RPM doesn't kill engines, overheating does. At wide open throttle, your cooling system should actually be working at its best. Water pumps are spinning fast, flow is strong, and cooling passages are fully active. That's why a properly set up engine often runs cooler at WOT than it does while lugging at mid throttle. The danger starts when something interferes with that flow. Engine mounted too high, water intakes partially aerated, weak water pump, blocked pickup, or even excessive trim can all reduce cooling pressure. When water pressure drops, temperature climbs fast. And by the time an alarm sounds, damage may already be happening. This is why water pressure is the most honest gauge on the dash. Watch it at full throttle. Learn what normal looks like for your engine. A sudden drop isn't a suggestion. It's physics screaming at you to back off. So next time you're wide open, ask yourself, am I watching speed or am I watching temperature and pressure? One is fun. The other keeps engines alive. Full throttle done right feels confident. The boat accelerates cleanly, RPM climbs smoothly into range, steering stays predictable, and nothing feels strained. The engine sounds busy, but not angry. That's when wide open throttle is not only safe, but healthy. Dangerous full throttle feels very different. RPM struggles to rise. The bow feels heavy. Acceleration flattens out. 
heat builds. Sometimes you hear subtle knocking or feel vibrations you can't quite explain. That's physics warning you, not inviting you to push harder. Here's the key difference. Smart full throttle is effortless. The boat feels like it wants to go. Bad full throttle feels forced, like the engine is dragging the hull against its will. So the next time you push the throttle forward, don't ask, how fast am I going? Ask this instead, does my boat feel relaxed or does it feel like it's working too hard? Because full throttle isn't reckless when it's right. It's only dangerous when the setup is wrong and your boat will always tell you which one you're in. Here's a simple test that tells you more about your setup than hours of guesswork and almost nobody does it properly. On a calm day, with the boat warmed up and normally loaded, roll into full throttle smoothly. Don't slam it, let everything settle. Watch three things only, RPM, water pressure, and feel. Forget GPS speed for a moment. If RPM climbs cleanly into the rated range, water pressure stays steady, and the boat feels relaxed rather than strained. Congratulations, your setup is fundamentally healthy. That's what full throttle is supposed to feel like. Controlled, predictable, almost boring. But if RPM stalls low, pressure drops, or the boat feels heavy and tense, that's not just how boats are. That's physics telling you something is wrong. Prop, height, trim, weight, or all four. Here's the key question. When was the last time you tested full throttle like this, instead of just touching it briefly and backing off? Because full throttle isn't a party trick. It's a diagnostic tool and one of the most honest ones you have. So, if this changed the way you think about full throttle, then you're already ahead of most boat owners at the marina. Understanding the physics behind WOT isn't just about speed, it's about protecting your engine, improving your setup, and unlocking performance you've already paid for. So if you want more videos that save you money, boost your speed, and make you the smartest captain in your harbor, hit subscribe, tap the bell, and drop your boat model and WOTRPM in the comments. I'll tell you instantly if your setup is healthy or hiding a problem.